Hey guys, it's your boy Jeffrey and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a pack with me to Korea vlog, yay! Because if you guys didn't know, I'm actually gonna be moving to South Korea in literally less than like five days. I'm gonna be going there to become an English teacher and I just wanted to vlog my whole experience and just like everything that I'm doing just to prepare for it. Just in case anyone else needs help out there because girl, it's been a struggle with this whole process. If you guys didn't know, I just got into the EPIC program, so the English program in South Korea. <laughs> Did I get that right? Oh my God. So I've actually been packing for the last month now in the beginning of January. Today's February 1st. I'm leaving February 5th. Oh my God, it still just hasn't hit me. I feel like I have so much to do, but it's so funny about my whole packing situation because my mom literally just came into my room right now and she was like, wait, you're unpacking again? Didn't you do this like 10 times already? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> because it's so stressful. But I think I just finally condensed and like finalized everything that I'm gonna be bringing. I'm kind of overpacking. Actually, no, I am overpacking. I'm kind of high maintenance. I'm like, I have so many necessities. <laughs> we need to pack as much as possible, basically. So I already know I'm gonna get an overweight charge. And also the fact that I'm gonna be quarantined for at least one whole month. Usually it's two weeks, but for me, it's gonna be one whole month because number one, for Epic, we have to quarantine at a facility for two weeks. And after that, we have an orientation for a week. So I won't be able to go outside to go shopping or anything i have to just stay in the facility for the whole freaking month so that's why i'm overpacking so much right now but yeah basically this is the layout everything i'm packing and i'm gonna go through everything one by one with you guys so you guys will understand my madness <laughs> so first let's start over here right here i have my hats i have seven hats a bunch of them are just supreme and like i could not like live without them i'm a really big hats person so like i just love this brand supreme and i know it's very trendy in south korea so i just couldn't leave it so i'm bringing all seven of them over here i have these cute little supreme stickers or name tags that i got on the website as well um i know i don't need to bring these but i actually brought these for my kids so on the first day of school basically you know we're introducing each other just like a little gift from america because like i said before supreme is a very trendy brand over there so hopefully these make them happy and like you know i'm like riding them kind of <laughs> i have my michael kors fanny pack that i go everywhere with so this is like a staple for my outfits i brought a little supreme water bottle thermos just because you know it's to have a water bottle with you i'm gonna bring two beanies i love these beanies so much they're so warm i have this little supreme neck pouch so say if i'm traveling and i just want to put like my wallet and like my cell phone i just have this with me and then for the clothes girl i'm bringing so much clothes right now you know what i'm not gonna have any access to a washer dryer for the first month and i don't even know if my apartment's gonna have a washer dryer so it's okay to bring all these clothes i basically just put them in like these cubes i got from amazon they're super cute very organized so everything in this block right here are my regular t-shirts my home clothes as well and also i bought some work shirts like dress shirts like i know a lot of people say not to bring dress clothes at all during our epic orientation we're gonna have presentations so i bought two just in case for that a lot of my clothes are on from uniqlo guys i still have the tags on <laughs> just because i bought them because i've been like literally on a purge with all my old clothes and just buying new ones just for korea for this block over here i have all my flannels because i love wearing flannels over here i have one brain breaker nike one breaker and all of this clothes over here in this block are literally my workout clothes because i'm gonna try to work out a lot during the quarantine like be active because girl i'm gonna be in there for two weeks i have so much nike guys like <laughs> nike please sponsor me <laughs> i have over here these are my air force ones these are my favorite shoes and inside here i have my shower head i know you could just buy a shower head in korea but i wanted to get it like asap because i don't know how the shower heads are gonna be in the quarantine facility and also the orientation facility i have these nike slipper thing sandals which are super cute i'm bringing them i didn't want to bring my work shoes or just because of the whole presentation situation that we're doing for the epic orientation i'm gonna bring these and i have some neckties as well i'm gonna bring a nike sweatband just because you know i'm gonna be working out during quarantine in terms of jeans, I have three pairs of jeans just for work and just casual wear. I have these pair of nice jeans. I have one pair of slacks and these plaid and like beige pants. I just like these. They're so cute. <laughs> They're so stretchy too. I have my leather jacket because that's a staple for all my outfits. Right over here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six polos. Of course, Nike as well. Just because in terms of working, I just like wearing polos. I don't know about y'all, but like I know it's probably going to be casual wear. So that's why I want to go vision casual for the first week. I bring one towel because I heard in korea that it's really hard to find full-size towels i do have a lot of allergies if you guys have not noticed so i'm bringing tissue just like mini tissue and just in case like i want to like 
try to attempt to wash my clothes during quarantine, I found this bar of soap. I guess it's like laundry soap at Home Depot when I was trying to buy tape. And basically, I'm probably just gonna use this to like <laughs> try to wash clothes. I should have bought Tide Pods, but like this was so cheap. It was only like one dollar, so I was like, might as well. Of course, this is my favorite perfume, the Saint Laurent Le Hain. I love this so much, so I got a mini one just in case. These are gonna be my converter, so these are my plugs over here. And then over here is a converter just in case. I have the two plugs and I have the converter. Right over here, I have my medicines. So, um, I know I'm kind of bringing a lot, it's like overkill, but like I said before, I'm going to be in quarantine for a whole month, so I'd rather just stay prepared for that, and then I'll buy everything else later on. So I have some Tylenol, I have some Crest Whitening Strip. I heard it's very hard to find these in Korea. I don't know, my friend told me to like just bring Hella, so I brought Hella. Um, I have some melatonin because I heard you need a prescription and you want to buy it over there. Some mosquito spray. <laughs> I heard there's a lot of mosquitoes in Korea, so like I'm doing that. It's kind of like a lotion, not much of a spray. I have some vitamins, Advil. I bought some Dayquil and Nightquil just because of the fact that I heard that like they don't have this over there. Or if you do want to buy it, it's really hard to get. I have some emergencies just in case. Just one pack of Clark and Infection Life just for the clean ride. I have some cough drops just in case. I have these filters. I know you can buy these in Korea too, these mask insert filters. Um, but when I was on looking on coupon on G Market, they were like 50 bucks for like a pack of like 10 or something. I got these on Amazon for like $13. So <laughs> save money. I have some reasonable mask over here. And this little supreme pouch. It just has my wires and stuff basically. So nothing too important, just for my camera stuff. I'm bringing the internet to the thing because I heard during the quarantine, internet's hair mess basically, especially if everyone's on the internet. So it's safe to just bring one of these cables just so you won't have any trouble with the internet. So have that up on Amazon. These right here are gonna be my gifts to my co-teachers. You don't have to do it, but it would be nice to. It's like a hidden wall basically. So over here, this large, crazy, big, cube thingy. <laughs> this is basically all my skincare. I know guys, this is overkill because I'm going to be living in this land of skincare, but honestly, I don't really think it's that much. I have some mini toiletries in here. This is for the quarantine. I have some Q-tips. This is a face mask and also a makeup remover because I didn't have any of them when I was like looking for toiletries. And then honestly, everything else guys is just, what is this? Oh, sanitizer. This is all my Fenty stuff. <laughs> So literally my Fenty skin and my Fenty makeup. So obviously I am not going to leave America without these. These were expensive, so I'm going to take them with me. Because girl, I don't know if Riri is going to be in Korea. I have all my Anastasia highlighters. I honestly can't live without these. I have my muscle massage gun. I don't know, I can buy this in Korea, but just because of the fact that I already have it, I'm just going to take it with me. My whole rule of thumb is basically why spend so much over there when you already have it. You guys didn't see right here. I heard there's not going to be a microwave at my orientation facility or just the epic facility, quarantine facility, whatever you call it. So I saw a video of this girl who bought an electric pan from Amazon and honestly, it looks so lit. So I bought it too. And it comes with a little mini spatula, look at that. And also because I heard that like a majority of the stoves in Korea are gas. And guys, if you guys don't know me, like you guys know I am so unequipped to use a gas stove. <laughs> like I get so scared. Like everyone in the Epic Cacao Talk already knows that like y'all need to help me out with a good gas stove or else I'm never going to cook. <laughs> it's just, I'm afraid that like my stove might blow up. This is my Yeti mic over here. So I have a little container. I also have my voice filter on that. And this section right here is literally all the food that I'm going to be eating during quarantine if I don't like the food that I'm giving. In. So I have Nibbering, total staple. <laughs> I love Nibbering so much. One bag of hot Cheetos, the dried mangoes. I have some oatmeal for the morning. I have my chia seeds. I have two packs of beef jerky from Trader Joe's. I have these chia bars from Trader Joe's. I have some Velveeta. And right over here, I have some spices just in case. I have some lemon pepper spice and I have, I think it's called vegan less chicken spice from Trader Joe's, so I have that. But yeah, so over here, I have my running shoes too, I'm bringing that. And then I have some undershirts over here and my socks are in here as well. And then right over here, these are just all my shorts. And over here, I have like some little mementos that my friends gave me. So my friend Marie, she bought me like coasters. These are marble. I just packed it up just in case it might break in my luggage. But yeah, she got me those. And then my friend Julie and Juliana, they got me this little ornament. And it has my name on it. It's so cute. You guys are going to see in my other vlog. But yeah, essentially, this is everything that I'm bringing to Korea. And also, guys, <laughs> the one thing I am not leaving is my light ring oh my god this is my baby guys i bought this like when i was like basically my first year 
into college and it's never left me and I'm never gonna leave it. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to fit that in my suitcase. And over here I have my, basically my check luggage and this is gonna be my carrying luggage. And I'm also gonna put all my clothes in this heavy duty duffel bag that I bought on Amazon. Honestly, it looks really small right now guys, but it's actually really, really big. Everything else that I'm not showing right now, it's just my camera equipment and like my laptop. But basically, it's all going to go into that backpack over there. But yeah, so that's pretty much everything I'm bringing. And I'm just going to pack it up all right now to see if anything is not going to fit. I'm going to cry if it does it. But yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Yes! So my ring light actually fit in the front of my check-in luggage. So we're all good to go. So I think I'm going to just put all the food in here so nothing gets, like, too crushed. And then everything else will then go over here. And then um, my other luggage. So yeah, let's do that. Yay! So guys, I am done with my packing. I'm basically ready and I just need to go now at this point. I am so excited. We only have a few more days left here in America. And I'm so happy that like I only have one overweight bag versus like having a million. Well, technically my personal item and my <laughs> carry-on, but current air. Please spare me. I'm sorry. But yeah, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching my video. I know the lighting was kind of off, but hopefully it was okay. If you guys have any recommendations or like you guys know anything about the packing process that I'm doing, please leave a comment down below. And yeah, guys, that's it pretty hope you guys love my video i'm gonna like comment subscribe and turn on that notification button down below to get more content from me all right guys see you guys in korea